It's all right. I'm alive. And the smell. That's it. The tickets. It's subtle, but I can tell it's the same one. So we were put to sleep when these were punched. A demon must be behind it. What a faint scent for such a powerful blood demon art. <laughs> Rengoku! Sanitsu! Hinosuke! They're tied to the others with rope. Who are these people? For some reason... I have a feeling I shouldn't sever this rope with my Nichirin sword. Nezuko, listen! Can you burn the other ropes? Uh -huh. Hmm? Was the dream interrupted? Did they fail their mission? No matter. They're nothing but pawns anyway. They're buying me time, and that's good enough. You're all interfering! Is this girl under the control of a demon? Now that you people are here, we won't get any happy dreams! <laughs> What are you doing? Get off your ass and help us out! I don't care if you have tuberculosis. If you don't do your job, I'll go tell him. And then he won't give you any more dreams! Was he connected to my dream? She said he has tuberculosis. How awful. What a cruel demon. Taking advantage of them like this. To think I was willing to inflict pain on others, if it meant I could escape my own illness. But inside his dream, inside his soul, it was so warm. I'm sorry. I have no choice but to fight back. You just wanted a happy dream, didn't you? I understand. I... wanted that as well. Are you alright? I am now. <laughs> Be careful. Thanks! The demon! The scent is overwhelming, even through all this wind! If the wind is carrying his scent down here, does that mean he's in the first car? Nezuko! You wait here! Go wake everyone up! Good morning. What a shame. You could have stayed asleep forever. So it's him! Did I not give you a dream tailored to your every desire? If I had so wished it, it could have been one where your family was being slaughtered. Would you prefer a dream where your dear father comes back to life? Intruding on one soul is something I won't allow! You won't get away with this! What's this? Those earrings he's wearing. What good fortune. Like a moth to the flame, he came right to me. Could this be true? Now I can receive an even greater share of Lord Luzon's blood. <sighs> Try this. Isn't he being affected? Wait, he is. He's falling under the spell over and over. Ah! Oh dear. Here. What a wheel! Uh, 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 
<laughs> it's time to say goodnight. Not so fast, Weakling. Farewell. 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 <laughs> called for your death alongside the Hashiras. Yes, it's quite clear now. It's the nature of your existence. You're like a blistering sore on one's heel. He's not dead? What a lovely expression. How I've longed to see this. <laughs> Wondering why I'm still alive, even after you decapitated me? I'm in a good mood, so I'll let you in on a little secret. Don't worry. It's so simple a child could understand. <laughs> that is no longer my true self. The same can be said about what's before you. It may look like my head, but that is not the case. While you were sleeping like a helpless baby, I fused my being with this train. Every inch of it has become my blood, my flesh, right down to my bones. <laughs> that look in your eyes, you're starting to understand. For you see, more than 200 passengers, or shall I say, hostages, will serve as nutrients to strengthen my own body. Say, do you think you can protect them all by yourself? There's so much tasty human flesh packed in here, from stem to stern. How long can you stave off my hunger? 